Butch, what did you see out of your team today? Um, I'm glad Matt Scheffler's on our team and uh, uh, a couple other people. I, I thought that uh, Bailey Horn and Trevor Fitz and just did a nice job on the mound. It was good to get Hayden Mullins back into that point in time or later in the ball game and Mason Barnett. But uh, I, I felt very fortunate today to, to get out here and, and sweep this series because the game of baseball kind of took place. We needed to be good today and, and we were very professional and thankful. Um, we get the four spot in the first inning today that, that uh, Wright State had gotten yesterday. And we talked about all those pieces to that. And, and, it, and it happened again today. We had our best hitters up at the plate in the first. Uh, you get a very tight strike zone. And then we were fortunate with Matt Scheffler's first ground ball there to third base that that gets through and winds up being a double and clearing the bases. And if that doesn't happen, that could be a completely different ball game. Um, we relied on the two out hits. So I think Scheffler comes up again with the runner at third and two outs and gets a ground ball through the six hole. If that's called or right at somebody, then that run doesn't happen. Uh, Case and Howell, I think, had a two strike RBI as well. So. Um, but on the, on, the, on the good side that you see that Bailey Horn, when he left it up a little bit with two strikes a couple of times, Wright State was there to hit it hard. But every time with two outs, we were fortunate to get out of the inning. So it winds up being six to nothing, but it seemed like a much closer competitive ball game. Um, it was nice uh, when their closer come into the ball game to be up six instead of down six. And those are some real good at bats for us moving forward because we're seeing 95, 96 out of their guy. And those are great competitive at bats at the end of the ball game to keep hopefully trying to make us better and improve our timing and to get better every day. But I just, I thought the rhythm and, and the mindset of our team was really good for five days, um, five games. Um, Thursday's practice was good and was a better week to help us move forward to try to get better. But you talked about your bullpen today, didn't you, up a hit? Wow, I didn't know that. Uh, I, I was looking at, you know, um, th those guys are going to be so talented and, and to be able to throw to that zone um, I think was really good. I know Hayden come in and he, he walked the first couple of guys, but I didn't think they were all together non-competitive walks. I thought that they were close and worked a count and then he was able to get a strikeout and get out of that inning. So I thought that was good for him. I think Barnett had the one uh, – uh, walk there in the night, but I didn't think command was ever really that big an issue. I thought they were around the plate and and did a nice job. I did not know we gave up a hit. I keep keep looking at so much offensively is where we bounce back. Um, I'm so thankful to have like Gabe and, and Tim leading our pitching staff, but Gabe Gross probably was our, if we gave a coach of the week, he just did a great job with his guys from last weekend to, to this weekend because those guys were probably, they scored so many runs, I think 61 runs to eight in those first five ball games. And then they went from like six to 22, a reversal. We struck out 33 times last week. We only struck out 16 times this weekend. And just the maturity of, of him and and how good a job he does with our guys. Um, they just had a really good week and Gabe did an amazing job leading our guys. And um, it led to some success. and. You know, I still feel like there's some command things we're doing. I like how we're using our pitchers. I do think that's 10 plus strikeouts for the first 13 games of the season. I don't, I don't remember that happening before on a team that I've been a part of. So, you feel like some some of the stuff's there now. It's just texturing and being able to pitch and taking the sting out of the swing and being able to shove it in the strike zone when you want to. And there's been great intention put on that. But I, I thought our offense really bounced back this entire week. Difference in the mentality of your team last week compared to this week? Yeah, I just, uh, just uh, maybe just a tighter, a pressing type. I, I don't know what words or adjectives to use. I just, I didn't think they were themselves. And I, I think I'm usually a pretty honest guy. I try to be, I want to be. And I, I had trouble putting my finger on it as a head coach. And I just, uh, I thought I saw, that's how Rankin Royal is supposed to play an act. Uh, that's how Connor's supposed to be a threat at the plate. Um, Bliss has kind of been consistent, been playing great every day of the year. But I thought as a team and as a unit, we passed it down. It's very unselfish at bats this weekend. Um, with um, Howell and um, Bliss hits two home, home runs yesterday, but he's got a push bunt mixed in there. I just, the unselfishness, I saw more team stuff, sack flies. Uh, guys were giving up at bats for us to score runs. We, we generated offense instead of just individually 
uh, not being connected. I think I saw that happen this week, and um, it has to continue to be a quality team. You have to be able to, to, to do that together.